Um, you gave up one goal today, but you also had six saves. In a lot of situations, you know, that ratio would be pretty solid, but I can't imagine that you're very satisfied with that performance. So what are your emotions like after that, where you, you held the one goal, but you did give up the one goal. So how do you kind of approach, you know, looking back at this game, I guess? Yeah, um, I think there's good things to take away from my performance this game um, and just building off that going forward. Um, that's all I can really do is do my best for the team and um, keep my, my team in it, and, and that's where my focus is. And then what did you see on that on that one goal uh, that was let in and just yeah, kind of take us through that, I guess? Yeah, it's just a second phase off corner kicks, and that's an area we've been working on and trying to grow and, and improve. So um, yeah, we're going to look back at that and, and, and focus hard on trying to get that ball cleared um, the first go around. But yeah, it's just second phase, top of the box shots, a um, lot, of, lot of bodies uh, that I saw. So had a little bit of a late reaction, wish I got another step on it. And then you mentioned there that you guys are growing and improving. You've only allowed three goals over your last three games, all 1-0 losses. Do you feel like the defense is improving? And, and how close do you think you guys are to um, being where you want to be, I guess, as a defense? Yeah, I think we are definitely growing in a lot of areas. Um, box defending was one of our biggest areas of growth. I think that's where a lot of the goals come from in this league. And um, you can see we're, we're touch tight. We're in our, we're in our, we're in our zones. And um, I think we're improving big time. And that's all the defense can do. Defense and myself is keeping games close. Um, and I think we're just going to keep building on that and hopefully get a shutout here soon. <laughs> Mandy, you stood on your head tonight, and I have it written down 67th and the 78th with some incredible saves. In addition to that, low flow came up big again tonight. I want to talk about her, and it's not fair to just single her out because Kate and others are doing an amazing job, but can you speak to low flow and what she's doing on that back line? I love how you're addressing her as low flow. Low flow, that's awesome. Um, she's the trick of all trades. That's what I say. She's just, she can do it all. She's very versatile. She's a utility player for us. You can put her outside, you can put her inside. doesn't matter. She's going to give her give it her all. And I, she shows that in training and she shows that um, on game days. And I think that's why she's doing as well as she is. And um, yeah, it's always good to have a low flow on your back line. It is always good. I do want to ask this, and if this is a really dumb question, please just say pass. But we've noticed some changes. You're trying out different tactics. It looks like the way that you build. Uh, there was a previous game where it was the same goal kick repeatedly. Now it seems to be more of what we saw previously. Can you talk about, is it just what you see against a number two Washington Spirit with a lot of fast players like Rodman and, and others? Are you just experimenting with uh, tactics on building out from that defensive third? Yeah, I just see whatever the team is presenting, and I'm just going to try different things. And yeah, if, if you can see last game, when it gets repetitive, it gets really easily picked off. Um, and that's an area that I didn't want to uh, have at this game. So I was trying to be as versatile as I could um, without tricking out my own players too much. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, we have a plan. We have a, we have a build out set, but we, Amy gives us freedom and creative freedom to kind of build off of that. And, and I think it worked really well this game. You touched on it a little bit with the, the three straight one nil losses. With, it just feels like this team is really close to kind of getting over a pretty significant hump, I think. What's sort of the message in the locker room with how close it feels like this team is and, and I think has been for a little while to kind of maybe get over that last little bit? Yeah, like, you're how do you exactly kind of right. We're at, the cusp, we're at the cusp of it. We're ready to go. And I think it's just everyday performances in the locker room. How are you taking care of yourself every day on the field and training? And um, the message is just like, do win, win the day. Win the day as you can. And if you win every single day, that you're going to get your best um, on game day. So yeah, the focus is just being your best and taking ownership of your role and, and what you want to provide for this team. And um, hopefully it all comes together on game day. With, with your view, not only in the back as a goalkeeper, but also one of the veter league veterans on this team, can you see kind of the younger players, the youthful players, you guys are playing a lot of rookies, that kind of thing. Can you see kind of their individual growth maybe that some of them don't necessarily see from the forest? 100%. Um, they're all getting, what, what is it now, like 10 games under their belt, seven games under their belt? Um, that's huge. And they're going against Rodimans. They're going against SARS. Like, they're, they, we're asking so much of them. And um, they're just getting more and more comfortable um, in the positions that we keep putting them in. And I'm uh, super proud of, of all of our rookies who are stepping up. Um, and even the rookies who aren't, 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 aren't on the field, like, they're stepping up big time for this team and helping us in ways um, off the field um, in the training grounds. Kyle, anything? No? Anything from you, Alex? Perfect. Thanks, Mandy. Thank you, guys.